quiet aisle, a grand old house. A hump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other Untersee islands. But here's a grand house, windows aglow. Lawns, impossibly green and lush in the false starlight. Raked gravel paths. You stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. So, um, we will reconnoitre the island first, because we can get a port report that way. Plunging cliffs, soft green lawns. A well tucked away in a fold of the grounds. Anything else? The sea's silence. Ships rarely come here. Nothing changes. Even the weather. The house is the heart of the isle. The house and the sisters. But the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed, at least. Right, we shall present ourselves at the house. They will have heard your ship come in. Why hide? Knock and enter. A maid with smouldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlour, where three young women wait. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? You are acquainted with the sisters of Hunter's Keep. A false star flares in the cavern roof directly above you. Flares and fades. Yes, there'll be trouble later. So we will take lunch with Phoebe. Phoebe is soft-voiced, watchful, unpredictable. I think Phoebe's the one we want. Here's a story. Phoebe has a story to tell. Of two lovers parted by water. Of a raven that carried messages. Of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a song only she can hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The untersee shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came, says Phoebe quietly. Everything changed. Somewhere in there you finish the last course. The scowling maid reluctantly serves cheese and Bath Oliver bis biscuits. OK, we'll talk to Cynthia, I think. Cynthia is the eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to the story of a murder. An axe, a net, blood on the scented water. Another chop, Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. Right, Lucy is the one we haven't spoken to yet, so Lucy... The middle sister is sunny, restless, prone to giggles. A daft tale. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidentially. A complex story about a butler, a pig and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Ooh. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Hunters keep in darkness. 
A hump of dark rock swathed in mist like a hundred other undersea islands. A grand house rises on the rock, a silhouette empty of lights. The uncut grass on the lawns bends, rises, bends again in the breeze. You smell damp stone and faintly blood. Right. If this goes wrong, it's going to wreck the entire... Okay, we should be all right. Go up to the house. Crunch across the gravel up to the door. The brass of the door knocker is tarnished. The paint is beginning to peel in the salt Z air. No one answers, but the door is unlocked. Words in darkness. The hall is dark. The parlour, too. There are signs of disturbance here and there. A smashed cup, an overturned piano stool, scratches on the walls. You bend to pick up a page of paper and hold it to the light. It is an unfinished poem. You think the handwriting may be Phoebe's. The absent moon, the gnawing hunger in the heart, the well, the sea, a great many crossings out. There are sounds from downstairs, from the kitchen. You push open the door cautiously. Something clings to the ceiling. Something turns yellow eyes to you and hisses. Something somewhere has changed. Ooh. Right, we have to go to the silent house and ignore the thing in the kitchen. This is where it could go wrong. Search the house. Discover whatever you can about what happened here. Okay, we succeeded. Good. A distant song. You cock your head and listen. Someone is singing. A woman's voice. Soft o'er the fountain, lingering falls the southern moon. The sound takes you up the winding stairs to the turret at the back of the house. You try the door at the top. Locked. The sound ceases. It was Phoebe's voice. You call out to her. What's happened? We wanted their stories, she explains reasonably. We only wanted their stories in the beginning. We get so starved for stories out here. But then, Lucy... Lucy, she breaks down in sobbing. Want us to break down the door? Your bosun whispers. While you're considering the answer, one of your crew swears and points. Smoke is leaking from beneath the door. I deserve an ending, Phoebe calls out. When you press your hand to the door, you can feel the heat on your palms. The house on Hunter's Keep is aflame. Save Phoebe. Her mind may be lost to grief and madness. Wait a minute, we should read this first. The fire begins in Phoebe's turret room, but it spreads quickly. Zayla's tumble choking from the door as the smoke billows out. The yellow-eyed maid leaps from a window and streaks across the lawn on all fours. Save Phoebe. Her mind may be lost to grief and madness, but at least perhaps you can save her flesh from the flames. Good, we succeeded, thank goodness. A desperate rescue. A bucket chain passes up water from the Z, enough to slow the flames a fraction, and to soak the cloths you wrap yourself in. You dash through the flames, your skin crisping, eyebrows sizzling. Your hair grows back patchy after. Phoebe is slumped against the wall. You seize her, sling her over a shoulder, dash out. The spine of the house breaks with a roar as the roof falls in. Sparks fly up towards the false stars so far above. The death of the house takes hours, but it is total. Only a cindered shell remains. Phoebe weeps when she wakes, racking sobs that shake her body. You should have left me, is all that she will say for the longest time. Her face is horribly burned. She goes bandaged after, like the half-dead of the tomb colonies. Perhaps she's half-dead herself. 
it can be difficult to tell in the Neath. We lost a crew, but we now have the Scarred Sister. And that's good because we can go on to the next stage of the story. Goodbye to the Scarred Sister. She taps you timidly on the elbow. You've been good to me, but here on the surface, I want to see my homeland. Will you pay my fare? Yes. A walk to the station. You see her to the train. The bosun carries her bag. The street is busy with travellers, families, beggars. The dust of the road rises up to make you cough, all three of you. Bibi has been very quiet, but now, suddenly, she starts to speak. We have family in Greece, or had, long ago. My grandmothers kept the mystery and watched the judgments up in the mountains above Corinth. When the bazaar came to earth, they saw an opportunity, and so they came below. She shakes her head. It didn't well end well for us. I wish I could have told you more, only there's so little left of me now. I must have my last few secrets, or I'll just blow away on the wind. But I want you to have this. This is a slim volume entitled A Dream of Red. A romantic novella? She kisses your cheek, shakes your hand, and she's gone. Well, we may have lost a hundred echo, but we've done rather well. We've gained three secrets. We've gained a vision of the surface, and most importantly, we have a dream of red, and this will give 25 hearts to my next captain, guaranteed. Um, and that was the most important thing. That's why we came here, principally. Um, so that is the, the legacy achievement, a dream of red, finished.